note card here in case. Yeah. You gotta glance out on my note card, so I'll see how it goes. All right, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. I uh, I feel like the term search party is a touch lighthearted. <laughs> People are missing and potentially dead. I don't know if I feel like partying right now. <laughs> it's like, hey man, I'm having a party tonight. You should come. Oh, that's awesome. What's the occasion? I can't find my daughter. <laughs> oh, that sounds almost like a party tonight. Um, I've come to the conclusion that life sucks, mostly because you'll never hear anyone use the phrase, that's life, after good things happen. <laughs> that's life is for bad news. I've never heard someone go, dude, I found $20 on the streets today. Well, you know, that's life. <laughs> it's, never, it's never a positive thing. Uh, in Superman, every time they see Superman flying, they'll always go, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Has anyone ever actually mixed up a bird and a plane? <laughs> what a terrifying life that would be to lead. Anytime a bird lands remotely near you, you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's, well, you know, you know, I mean, people mix things up. I mean, that's just kind of how it goes. I found people mix things up a lot at concerts. I went to, uh, I got to go see Taylor Swift this past summer. It was a lot of fun. Um, but like 45 minutes, before she was even supposed to start performing. Some guy walks on stage to set up like mic stands and an amp, and 40,000 people stand up screaming, oh my God, it's Taylor Swift. <laughs> Two things, one, in what universe is Taylor Swift setting up her own equipment <laughs> for her own concert? And two, since when is Taylor Swift a five foot three guy with a beard who looks like he's been working in the coal mines for 40 years? She's like the most famous woman in the world, and even she's not exempt from getting confused with a roadie. I've noticed that sometimes when you, uh, when you walk past like a stranger on the street and you guys will make eye contact, you want to like you know if you want to acknowledge that you guys see each other, you'll just give them like a little head nod, you know. You walk by and give them that. It's great. Everybody loves that. Under no circumstances can you ever do the opposite. You can never walk past a stranger on the street and just go. <laughs> <laughs> scare the hell out of them. <laughs> um, airports are one of the strangest places on planet Earth. I think we can all agree on that. Just the weirdest stuff happens there and everyone's just fine with it. I, I travel a lot, I'm not from here, I'm from uh, LA, so I'm in airports quite a bit. And the other week I was, a, I was sitting in an airport waiting for my flight and one of the announcements came on about like staying by your luggage. Uh, and it said, uh, unaccompanied luggage may be thrown out or destroyed. Did you just say destroyed? <laughs> I can't get a tube of toothpaste through security and you're about to take a flamethrower to my backpack because I left it for five minutes. Another thing with airports is like, you know, you go through security and you get through the line, you go through that big thing and, and the whoosh and the whoosh and you get out and everything's fine. It's like a miraculous machine. It's an incredible piece of technology. It's like 15 feet tall. It like scans your body. It almost does like an x-ray type thing. It's, it's incredible. It just doesn't work if you don't do this. They couldn't work this bug out when they were making it. What's the big, like, what switch makes this and this the same movement? I, I don't know. Um, I stayed in a dorm a few years ago, and, uh, and there's not a lot of space, so you normally have to loft your bed. And so I spent a lot of time right next to the ceiling, which was fun. Um, and one day I was just hanging up there, I was looking around, and I looked up at the uh, smoke detector on the ceiling. And uh, on the smoke detector it said, do not paint. And I kind of thought that was messed up, because it didn't specify do not paint the smoke detector. <laughs> it felt like it was just telling me not to paint at all. I think, yeah, you're a smoke detector, you don't get to tell me how I get to express myself. <laughs> I'll paint if I want, you're an inanimate object. Um, my friend recently asked me if I wanted to go to a garage sale, uh, but I already have a working garage, so I can go. That was fine. Uh, 
Ice skating is one of my least favorite things on planet Earth. Not good at it. Seems like a pointless activity. Asking me to go ice skating is essentially asking me, hey, do you want to go learn how to walk again in front of a bunch of people with knives on your shoes? <laughs> no. I, it's like the most dangerous date you're ever going to go on. It's, <laughs> it's, not, an, it's not a necessity. <laughs> um, you can make pretty much any sentence creepy or confusing if you just add on at the end, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Be like, hey, I think we're going to have pizza tonight, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Dude, you look really good today, if you know what I mean. I love my mom so much, if you know what I mean. I thought I did. Kind of throwing me out of whack here. I think a skydiving instructor is a very odd desired profession. <laughs> like, if you ask a skydiving instructor, what do you do? I'll tell you some honky about, like, oh, you know, I, you know, I like to give people an experience. I, I teach people how to fly, you know. I, I help people overcome their fears, you know. It's all this. What are you really doing? You're meeting someone that day, getting on a plane with just them, strapping yourself to them in the most intimate way possible, and then plummeting towards planet Earth almost sensually. So essentially, you're spooning someone potentially to death. <laughs> that's fine. Just tell us that's it. You're not inspiring anyone. Um, I got one more thing. I have a little list on the back of this sheet here of uh, 10 things I really hate. I hate to end it on such a negative note, but <laughs> I have to live with these, and I feel like you guys should have to live with these too. So, 10 things I hate. One, I hate that the word uneasy isn't the opposite of easy. <laughs> Two, I hate that on airplanes, your life vest comes in like a little plastic bag under the seat, because if I'm drowning, I don't need an extra step. Just give me the life vest. <laughs> I hate that first degree murder is the worst murder, and I hate that fourth degree burns are the worst burns. I hate that everyone loves and respects first, first responders so much, but nobody cares about second responders. <laughs> like, they helped, they just got there a little bit later. <laughs> I hate the term after dark. I hope people are like, you know, let's meet at night, let's meet after dark. I think you mean during dark. <laughs> After dark is when it's sunny, and while it's dark is when it's dark. I hate the term friends with benefits, because it makes me feel like if we're not actively friends, there's no benefit to being my friend, and that just hurts a little bit. I think I'm more than that. I hate that in trials, court case names, Make, they always make it seem so unfair. It's always like the state of Texas versus Jonathan. <laughs> I think my money's on Texas, but uh, good luck, John. I hate the title horseback riding because it'd be f crazy to ride any other part of the horse. <laughs> we don't have to specify the back part. You can just say horse riding and I think you'll get it. <laughs> And I really, really, just so genuinely, this isn't even a joke, just hate the wind so much. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That's all I have.